folks happy new year we're so excited for 2022 and all the good things that are going to uh, come with this year and try to accept all the bad things but we're not trying to concentrate on that right now we're gonna put that to the side anyway in today's video i'm going to be doing a top 10 synthetic uh wig review uh for 2021 i guess my top my opinion of my top 10 uh there were a lot of wigs this year that just I don't know, just had me slaying, like slaying. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so every time I upload a video, you can get notified on all things Wesleyan. <laughs> all right, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna try to make this as short as possible. If you see me looking down, it's because I took a couple of notes just to remind me of what each wig uh, looks like also the reason why I'm trying to make this video short is because I already did full length videos on these um, And I'll look I'll link those videos down below in the description box So if you want more details on it, you can go ahead and watch those videos. Okay, so my um, Number 10 choice is a Amazon Prime wig that I purchased uh it was $19, and I, I remember the reason why I purchased it, because it was $19, and it was big and curly, and it just looked so natural. Um, I got it from a company called uh, Anavana, if that's how you say it. I don't know. The link will be down below, but she was beautiful. I got her in a 1B as well as in a blue color, but it was like kind of mixed because the roots were black, and then it, it hit like an electric blue. And I bought the blue one because I knew I was going to do a Halloween look and that was going to fit the look. So those two wigs, oh my gosh, they beautiful. I mean, big, beautiful, natural wigs, a must in your collection, a must, hands down. All right, so my number nine uh, selection is uh, Rena by sensational what lace collection and ooh hoo hoo okay so i got her in a 1b and also in a money piece uh hazel and that money piece hazel was everything i mean i had her glued down because i knew i was going on a boat on somebody's boat i'm gonna put a picture here and girl she was she was just just blowing in the wind. You feel me? Just blowing in the wind. She is a bomb. And the 1B actually took her to Atlanta and showstopper. I mean, like, what lace collection? They just know what to do. I mean, they lace to be a little ashy and stuff, you know. But, if you, you know, you know what you're doing and blending and trying to make it. It works. It works. It is what it is. You're wearing a synthetic wig. Whatever. Okay. So, my number eight choice is Audrey. Um, and she is from the What Lace Collection as well. Uh, Audrey, I got her in a 2T Copper. And she was perfect for the end of summer, beginning of fall. Like, ooh, she was nice and bright and her colors were just flowing. She was about shoulder length and she just... was. She is a nice, like... Just the color itself. The the, the the curl pattern was bomb, but the color, that 2T copper, whoo, hands down one of my favorites, I'm not going to lie. And it just looks so nice on my melanin skin. So, yes, Audrey girl, I love the, the, the Number you. Number seven <laughs> is a halo stitch wig from Altre. Now... I can't remember. I saw her on somebody first and I went to go grab her and she literally was sold out. And I was just like, what the heck? She was sold out in um, all the colors that I wanted. So I took a chance and took like a, a number four, I think it was. I can't remember, but the link will be down below. I also going to make sure it's in the description box, um, the full detail of her. Uh, but that Halo stitch wig, oh my God, it came with this. First of all, the baby hairs was on point. Even though I don't do baby hairs, those was on point. And the the lace itself blended so well. It came with the, like this little cute braid that went over your hair like this. And that fell off 
and I was just like, well, what, what's going on here? Is this an extra thing? I don't know. Like, she's just coming with the, with, 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 with accessories now. I'm like, what the heck was, I was very confused. But <laughs> once I got her together, she, I mean, she could have been number one. I'm not going to hold you. There's a few pieces in this, uh, there's a couple of wigs in this, uh, top 10 that could have been number one. She was up there. She was up there. That, the curl, the, it just looks so, I, something about natural, natural looking wigs just, just, it just does it for me. I, I don't know. I can't even describe it, but, mm -mm -mm, right here, right here, right here. She bomb. She bomb. You see that? I even had my mama, I'm going to show you a picture of my mama in the same wig, and then you're going to be like, okay, I see where you're going with this Eve. She is what she is. You feel me? <laughs> All right. So let's go to our number six spot. So our number six spot was uh, Amazon Prime wig that I was looking for for a long time. I really wanted a rainbow colored wig. I don't know why I was looking for it, why I needed it. And it was just around the time for Pride. So I was just like, oh, I got this makeup look. I want to try with it. But that rainbow colored wig though? I mean, you can do a lot with that. You can do a lot with that. If you like a real bold individual and you want to wear that on the everyday, you know, go ahead. For me, negative on that, I would probably do it. Probably do it for more of a romantical night. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if I was going to Pride, I would slap her on, you know, photo ops uh, with my old ass. I would literally wear it for certain purposes, not just to go outside with. I'm sorry, I just can't do it. But she is a wig that's definitely going to stay in my collection because she was bomb. She was bomb. Okay, so our number five is Rone. Child, when I say Rone, should have been number one. She should have been number one in this. And I put her on number five because number five, the number five is actually my favorite number. So that's why I put Brone on there. All right, you feeling me? You feel me? She is from Sensational Sheer Muse Collection. And Chow, she's another wig that I was like looking for also because I wanted a short, nice, curly, like that would look like it's naturally my hair if I permed it, you know? She. She blended well, baby hairs, nice. The the lace was just, Atlanta wasn't ready for me. Can I tell you, with my outfit? <clears throat> nice, she was, mm. let's take a minute for Rone. It's a short little minute. All right, I'm over it. Rone, <laughs> she is a 10, 10, 10 in my book. Rone, if she is still available, go ahead and cop her if you can because she was just beautiful in my collection for life. She ain't going Number nowhere. Four. Number four is Miss Lynette right here. <laughs> Lynette is, yo, know, she, she is, her color is nice. The blending of Lynette is nice. Uh, she is from Outre's Perfect Hairline. She's a 13 by 16 synthetic lace wig. And I got her in a DRFF cinnamon spice. And she is spicy. She is, girl, she is, hold on. Oh, let me, let me give y'all. I'm, I'm getting ready to go out. So I wanted to make sure she laid down properly. But ciao. Look, at, I'm going to fix that. But look at Miss Lene. Hey, hi. Okay. She is so cute. She, ooh, child, I got to fix this. This looks crazy. Maybe he is looking like that. Anyway, so Lynette's definitely a winner, winner, chicken dinner. I just love the way she looks. And even the fact that she is like a nice, silky wig i i love i love her i love her she mm, she does everything for me everything for me she could be an everyday wig she can be i wore her to my christmas party last year and when i tell you everybody was like who's that girl and i was like it's lynette <laughs> evie's underneath her 
but it's Lynette, okay? <laughs> All right, so Lynette is, a, like I said, she's a winner. Get her. Links for her will be down in the description box as well. All right, so let's get down to the number three spot. We're almost over and done with this video. Number three is the Janet Collection, Kiki 22. Um, I got her in a 1B. And she was full. She was bouncy. But she was light. Like, I was very surprised because all that hair, you would think she was, she would be, like, really heavy. She was not. If I had her up in the ponytail or down, she gave all life. Like, every life you, she, life. She was giving what needed to be gave. You understand what I'm saying? Like, this Janet Collection, Kinky 22, Miss Kinky 22, did it for me did it for me and i said like if i were to wear her i would take her literally someplace cold which is what i did when i went to new york i took her um and laid her down and she was just beautiful i don't think i could do this in florida because she's just way too big unless i just keep her in a ponytail but when she is out the attention that you get child, mofo's next was rolling you hear me do you hear me all right, Miss Kinky 22. <laughs> All right, let's get to the next. All right, so our number two spot, of course, and she probably should have been number one. I'm keep saying that, but um, is my namesake Evangeline from Miss Bobby Boss. Now, Evangeline, she, I'm a. I'm a <clears throat> Evangeline, Evangeline, I mean, she just, right there, you see her, can you, can you see that, can you see her, okay, Bobby Boss did not come to play, you feel me, like, people, I think people sleep on Bobby Boss wigs, but not come to play, Evangeline, first of all, she sold out, she sold out all over the place, I got her in a 1B, as well as, I think, a 99J. I mean, because that was the last one I could find. And I'm just like, listen, I like the wig. I'm going to buy two. That's just how I do. You know what I mean? But uh, she was just, her curls were nice. The lace was nice. Like, everything about Evangeline was just the epitome of who I am. <laughs> Damn it. You heard it from me right here. Evangeline. Evangeline was a bomb ass wig. All right, she was no seriously. She was just she was beautiful. She was honestly beautiful. And every time I put her on, I always get a lot of compliments. Like a lot of compliments. People just love the way she looks, and so do I. <laughs> All right, so our number one spot. <laughs> You would not believe why she is my number one spot, but she is another Bobby Boss wig, and her name is Clara. Now, Clara is my number one spot only because I literally wore her all year. From the day that I got Clara, and I think I got her in the summertime. I want to say before summertime started, I wore her the out. Do you hear me? Like, Miss Clara over here, I call her my mom wig. Because literally, <laughs> I look like somebody's mama in that wig. You understand what I'm saying? She looks very much like what my hair, I feel like what my hair would have looked like if I permed, if I had her permed. And uh, when I was younger, I used to like my hair in this like little mushroom style all the time. You can ask my cousins, they'll tell you. They hated it. I loved it. And I still do. And that's why Clara over here. I got her in a F4327 as well as a 1B. Because if I like it, I'm going to buy two. I got this thing right here. Okay. Two times. Because this mom look is going with me in, in 2022. You feel me? I might retire the F4327 and start wearing that 1B. But uh, I don't know, because the longer you wear a wig, the more natural it starts to look. 
And Claire was starting to look a little bit natural on my head. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, she is the number one. Okay? So, that is my top 10 synthetical wigs of 2021. I hope you liked this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell because I'm going to have more wig videos <sighs> coming in the 2022 year. Come on, girls. We're going to have to slay them wigs. Yeah, I'm getting a lot better with it. So I'm very excited about that. Also, uh, they're they actually making these synthetical wigs a whole lot better compared to the hard lace I used to wear back in like 2012. Like, Jesus, them lace. The lace used to be, it's a commitment. You, you could, you, you have to commit to this lifestyle. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And I've been doing it for a long time and I'm going to keep on doing it. And hopefully you will enjoy all the videos that I'm going to bring to you in this upcoming year. All right, folks, that's it. My top 10. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Appreciate. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, let's try to see if we can get some more likes. Uh, more subscribers this year. Uh, that's I, pretty much that's all I want for this year. I don't have no New Year's resolution. I'm just going to say anything that I feel like I want this year is possible. It can happen. It will happen as long as I put the pedal to the metal. So let's go. Let's get it. 2022, baby. Love you guys. Bye. You can do it.